All right, hey everybody. Real quick, there's a couple of our YouTube friends who are having a problem with some of their games getting to stretch the entire screen. For instance, let's say Mortal Kombat 2. Now, I'm going to explain here how to fix all the problems. This is going to work for any game that you're experiencing that has this issue. I'm going to load Mortal Kombat 2 just for reference. You'll see it fills the whole screen. I have black bars on the side because it's a widescreen TV and it's a 4x3 game, so just imagine that it's a 25-inch monitor and forget about these black areas. It's fi it fills the entire screen, top to bottom and left to right. Now, I'll escape out of here and I'll pick Street Fighter 2, for instance. Hyper Street Fighter 2 Anniversary Edition. Load that up and notice there's a gap on top and a gap on bottom. We'll let it get past the intro screen here. See? Gap on top, gap on bottom. Probably a little bit of a gap on left and right also. You'll see it doesn't fill the whole screen. So that's the similar type of problem that our friends are having. Here's how to fix that. Any game you're experiencing that has that issue, all you have to do is, while it's loaded in your, here in your game list, right click on it, go to properties. Each version of MAME is different, so you have to go through your Properties tabs and find where it says Switch Resolutions to Fit. You may or may not, may not be able to see that it's checked. You may want to make sure that is not selected. Deselect Switch Resolutions to Fit. Hit Apply, hit OK. Now you'll notice before, Mortal Kombat 2 was not messed up. It filled the whole screen. It was, it was correct. See, switch resolutions to fit is not selected, whereas it was selected on the Hyper Street Fighter 2 game. So now that I've deselected that option of switch resolutions to fit, you can open that back up. Now it's filled the whole screen, top and bottom, left and right. See? Fill the whole screen. That's how you take care of that issue. Now you're going to want to do that on every game, so go to options of your main app options tab, go to Let's see, default game options, and then find your tab where it talks about switch resolutions to fit. Make sure you deselect that, and that will apply this to every game you have in MAME. So you won't have to worry about any game you select no longer fitting the whole screen. You also want to make sure not only that switch resolutions to fit is not selected, you also want to make sure that you have enforce aspect ratio. I'll give you an example about that. Let's see right here, under display, it says enforce aspect ratio. I have that selected. I do not want to deselect that for my main, for my, I'm sorry, for my main options. So I'm going to do that for Donkey Kong here. Oh, I don't have Donkey Kong on here. Let's, uh, I need a vertical game. Let's try, uh, I think Strikers 1945 is vertical. Yeah, see how it's vertical here? It's a vertical game. It's only... It's like a 19-inch monitor. Well, I'm sorry. It's a 19-inch monitor flipped up is basically what that is. And this is the correct aspect ratio of the game. So now, if you do if you do not have enforced aspect ratio selected, I'm going to go in here and deselect it. If you do not have enforced aspect ratio selected, this is what happens for your vertical games. It, it stretches it to a horizontal, and you don't want that because it looks like crap. So you see there that it's the entire full-size screen now. You, so you may like that. I, don't, I think it looks like shit. But anyway, you want to go to Options of your main, main options, go to Properties, or Default Game Options, I'm sorry. You want to make sure that you have Enforced Aspect Ratio selected, and you want to make sure that you have... Where is it at? Switch resolutions to fit is deselected. After you accomplish both of those and hit apply, that should fix your screen stretching and aspect ratio for every game. So I hope that helps you out. And if not, let me know. It should. But if it doesn't, let me know. I'll see if I can help you out further. So thanks for watching.